evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2024x divided by sin x dx. Now this pattern sin nx divided by sin x can be seen in this standard formula cos x plus cos x plus d plus cos x plus 2d and so on up to cos x plus n minus 1d. This gives us this pattern sin n d by 2 by sin d by 2 or sin n x by sin x type of pattern which is what we need here. So this is a standard formula and in this formula we can put d by 2 equal to x so that we are able to reach here. So we have got sin nx divided by sin x into cos x plus n minus 1 times x and then we have cos x cos of 3x because d by 2 is x so d is 2x and then cos 5x and so on up to cos 2n minus 1 x. Now x x would get cancelled. So we have got sin nx divided by sin x into cos nx equal to cos x cos 3x cos 5x and so on up to cos 2n minus 1 x. Now, we want sin nx by sin x type of pattern but this cos nx is creating problem. We just want sin in the numerator. So, how do we get rid of this? We can do it by multiplying and dividing by 2. So, we have got 2 sin theta cos theta. Sin 2 theta basically. So, we have got sin twice nx. Then this fellow. 2 can be taken to RHS. Now, we want sin 2024x. So, in place of 2n, we can put 2024. So, we have got sin 2024x divided by sin x equal to 2 times cos x cos 3x cos 5x and so on up to cos 2023x. Let me put brackets. Now we can integrate from 0 to pi by 2. So we have got integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 
2024x divided by sin x dx equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x cos 3x cos 5x and so on up to cos 2023x. So the integral that we want is equal to 2 times sin x sin 3x by 3 sin 5x by 5 and so on up to sin 2023x by 2023 from 0 to pi by 2. When we put 0, we have got 0 everywhere. When we put pi by 2, sin pi by 2 is 1. Sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. Sin 5 pi by 2 is plus 1. We have this plus 1 minus 1 pattern. As far as sine 2023, pi by 2 is concerned, that should be minus 1. So that is the answer we have got, twice bracket. 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 and so on up to minus 1 by 2 0 2 3.